Okay, we have to prove that 0.136 recurring times 0.2 recurring equals 1 33rd. Okay, good. These sort of questions are easy. Just follow the procedure and the answer falls out. Okay, so let's start with the 0.2 recurring because that's slightly easier. Okay, so 0.2 recurring. That's the same, well, I'm going to write it as 0.22222222 two, 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 and so on, okay? When there's only one digit recurring, okay, you multiply by 10. I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing you say is let x equal 0.22222 and so on, okay? And we're going to multiply both sides by 10. Okay, so therefore 10x equals, that becomes, let's move the decimal one place to the right, 2.22222 and so on, okay? And then you just subtract that from that, okay? So we're going to do 10x minus x equals that minus that, okay? Well, all of that, take away that, but they cancel if you like. You've got two plus 0.22222222. So when you subtract 0.22222 to the two, you just left with two, okay? So we get nine X equals two. So X is two ninths, okay? So, that thing there is two ninths, because we said let x equal that, which is that, okay? Right, now we'll do this one, okay? So we've got 0.13 recurring, six recurring. That means it's 0.1, the one doesn't repeat, there's no dot above it, okay? It's three, six, three, six, three, six, and so on and so on, right? Now, same thing. Well, almost same thing. We're gonna multiply by 100 this time. That's the only difference. So we say, let this thing, we won't call it X this time, just to avoid confusion. You can if you want. Um, let's call it Y. Okay, so we say let y equal 0.136336 and so on and so on, okay? Now, when there are two digits repeating, in this case there are two, it's the three and the six, you multiply by 100, okay? So 100y equals, the decimal point's going to move two positions to the right, so we get 13 point six, three, six, three, six, three, six, three, six, three, six, forever, okay? Same thing again, we subtract. So we get 100y minus y is equal to, okay, so 13.6 and then the repeating, well, I was gonna say the repeating begins, but in a sense, re re repeating begins there, doesn't it? It's three, six, three, six. Anyway, so we multiplied by 100 because we wanted to get the three there. It goes three, three, six, three, six, three, six. We wanted it at that position after the decimal, at the second position after the decimal, okay? If we'd only multiplied by 10, we would have a six there and then if we subtracted it would it wouldn't nicely cancel okay we want the same thing that we started with here the 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 repeating bit in the same position if you like okay so when we subtract they cancel nicely so it's 13.6 and then the repeating bit of the original minus that Okay, so 13 minus zero, what's going to be 13? Now, we've got 0.6 and then the repeating bit minus 0.1, then the repeating bit, okay? 
So it's going to be 0.5. Because, like I said, by multiplying by 100, we've set it up so the repeating bit is in the same position, the second position after the decimal point. So from there onwards, is going to cancel with that. So we're just left with 0.6 minus 0.1, which is 0.5. Happy? Okay, good. So we get 99y equals 13.5. So y equals 13.5 over 99. Okay, I don't like that decimal. So let's multiply top and bottom by 2. So we get 27 over 198. Okay, good. Right. Can we simplify that? Well, 27 is divisible by 3. Is this number divisible by 3? To check if something is divisible by 3, add up the digits. If that number is divisible by 3, the original is divisible by 3. So, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8 is 18. It is divisible by 3. So, 27 divided by 3 is 9. 198 divisible by 3 is 66. They're also divisible by 3, so 3 over 22. Good, okay. So, back to the original question. We called that y, we called that x. So it's saying y times x equals a 33rd. No problem. So, y is 3 over 22. Okay, so we've got 3 over 22 times x is 0.2 recurring, which was 2 ninths. Okay, now if we've done this correctly, that should turn out to be 33rd. Let's see, 3 into 3 once, 3 into 9 3 times, 2 into 2 once, 2 into 22 11 times, 1 times 1 is 1, 11 times 3 is 33. Boom! We've done it. Okay? So, like I said, these sort of questions, pretty easy, okay? Doesn't matter what that number is, okay? If you have a number that doesn't repeat, what's important is how many digits do repeat. If there are two, you multiply by 100. If there's one, you multiply by 10. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and it would be a massive help if you could subscribe. It would also be amazing if you could support me on Patreon. All the papers and everything are on my website, drgem.com, and I'm also on social media. Thank you.